the first and foremost experience that influenced my career was I got drafted into the United States Army on January 19th, 1951, uh, when they didn't understand what they were doing, nor did I, and I found myself in a system where nobody said what they meant, where everybody lied to you, where nobody cared if you lived or died, and which I was not going to survive unless I reinvented myself from as, 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 as a feckless, a know-nothing young man into a social and political satirist in order to document the constant humiliating experiences that were happening to me in a comedic way so that it wouldn't sound like I was whining, which I was. I evolved into whatever I became as a Cold War cartoonist during those years. The, the, um, just as the Cold War was developing and the Cold War mentality, where language w became something else, and people spoke in code on official levels and unofficial levels. And that shaped me because I decided it was my function in cartoon form to uh, decode the code for myself and for the readers. Well, it, what it did is allow me to uh, spend uh, a life as a so-called adult playing, you know, making into professional play everything I did. And, um, and that guided me from the time I was in my 20s. I mean, when I was a kid, I wasn't a kid, and I had no adolescence. All of the living I did, uh, I lived through childhood and adolescence and all of that as a boy cartoonist in my 20s to the present when I uh, am regressing fast and going back to what I was when I was 9, 10, and 11. It's, it's, I recommend it. I only began to feel like a mentor when I began teaching out here at what was first uh, LIU uh, uh, Southampton College and then Stony Brook Southampton recruited by my friend Roger Rosenblatt in his new writing program. And when I was thrown into this course that I created, which was called Humor and Truth at the time, and began seeing for the first time how what I said and what I assigned and what I talked about affected and helped change the direction young and middle-aged people were going in and how it changed their writing and their way of looking at things. Then I understood First of all, what teaching was about, what mentorship was about, and in a sense, what my life was about. I mean, how affecting other people and make, making a difference that way. What I've always thought that my teaching and the way I approach teaching was all about is whatever I call the course, whether it's a, 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 an essay writing course a nonfiction writing course, whether it's a graphic novel course, I'm teaching my students how to think. I'm teaching them from how to go from A to B to C, and then have to C they're on their own. But how to approach the problem of creativity in a way that may open doors for them, but essentially teaching them to ask the questions that I ask them, and teaching them how to ask it for themselves so they don't need me or other mentors.